Meet Die Dead Girl, my main account. Ever since the collection log was released, I've been working on collecting all the different items in the game. After starting my Chunkman series, I've been neglecting the account, but now it's time to resume collecting and share the adventure. Last episode we got 6 new items and got over the 1000 mark of lock slots achieved. We got our second piece of the evil chicken outfit with the head. Then we got the Bandos Golden Godsword special attack from LMS. Opened the brimstone chest for the mystic top dusk for our 1000 item. Continued to get the broken dragon hasta and then went to the phantom maspa for the charged ice and the frozen cash. Today we start off with a medium task to get the mages book. A hard task to get a woolly boss unique and an elite task to get a new boss pet. For the wilderness task we are going to do, I'm pretty much going to do Crystallia tasks. Just because it's going to be killing two birds with one stone as we still need a lot of other uniques in the wilderness as well. And for the boss pet we can still get the pet from Scorpio for example. And Theodium Shard 3 if we're looking for other uniques as well. And because we are going to do Crystallia Slayer, we are going to get some more keys to use, the Larent keys to use on the big chest. That's then actually three birds with one stone. It's going to be take a little bit longer than if we would just go to the Calvarian for example, but I don't think that's that much of an issue. For the bosses themselves, the wilderness bosses, so only the big ones count. So either Vetian and Calvarian, Venonatus and Spindle, or Callisto and Archu. And we pretty much don't have anything from them, so we're pretty much starting with a clean slate. This Dragon Pickaxe was from the Chaos Elemental and the Dragon Two-Hander Swords, I'm not really sure anymore. We've gotten enough, but we pretty much need any piece of the Void Waker, any upgrade to the Wilderness Weapons, or any of the Rings. So, 9 uniques that we can get, we only need one. And maybe if we're a bit lucky we get a pet before we get one of these items. Ah, there we go. It took a couple of tasks, but we got 99 skeletons, which means the first boss we are going to do is Calvarian. Wait, what? We got a Larent key from one of the minions? Didn't even know that was possible. And we will have to kill skeletons for those as well then. So that's a little bit annoying. But that was our first kill actually. So, pretty good loot for our first kill. And well, already dead. That didn't take long. We did only two kills and already dead. And this is on a 1750 total also. Yeah, this is going to be fun. And there we have another Larence key from one of the minions. So they must be quite common and I'm going to bank after this kill before I lose it. And that's the last kill we are going to do as we have finished our Slayer task. We've gotten up to 30 kill count so we only got 20 kills because we pretty much got a full task of 99 skeletons divided by 5 because of the 4 hounds plus Calvarian himself. So a small task and I guess we're going to have the same at Spindle but I don't really mind this. This is just going to give us a little bit more variety in what we are going to do. And we get a back to back task which we can get a pet from. No wilderness item though but 69 scorpions which means we can go to Scorpia. Ah, oh, malediction chart again. Is that actually the second or the third one? Yeah it's the second one, okay. It's a bit of a shame that it's a dupe, but let's continue. We still have 59 kills to go. And at the end of our Slayer task, we only killed 44 Scorpia. So with this kill, that will be 44. 
because in general if you use ice barrage there are a lot of small spiders here the scorpius offspring and we actually got a beginner clue from these guys which i didn't know was possible but that's 44 added to our list so that's 365kc at the moment and we still do not have the second shard but let's go and get another task okay Turiel helps us as well 42 spiders so that means we are going to spindle and we're probably going to have the same issue like we had at calvarian where we will be killing these small spiders for kc on the task as well but let's see how far we can get oh there's the treasonous ring and we are out apparently the little spider did not count as some for the spiders for the task and we got a lot of kills here or well a lot is not that many actually <laughs> only 20 and we got the ring the treasonous ring another slot filled in our collection log that's actually pretty fast that we got this item i thought we were going to have to do a lot more slayer to get this task done but we're done let's clear it up on the dashboard and then let's see which are going to be the new tasks a nice combined task we did not get a boss pet but we did get our first unique from the worldy bosses so let's complete it we are still 87 percent hard and then let's clear our elite task generate a new hard one again the infinity bottoms so again two times mta for medium and hard and then the elite is going to be one unique drop from god wars dungeon all right there's still a lot of options there so we might as well go to god wars dungeon for our next task we are going back to general grardor if we look to our collection log we still don't have anything here and we already have 186 kills without any item which is actually already above the drop rate of getting a piece in general the things we are looking for is either the chest plate the tacits the boots or the hilt and if we would get the god sword chart one as well that would be nice but that's a passive task and the pet is very unlikely but it's always nice to get a pet i'm using the most defensive setup i have with the osmanton's fang and the blood fury so let's see how this goes let's get in there first trip done we've got 48 bandos kc so that means we have killed bandos 12 times within this one trip which is quite good actually i don't think we can move on another kill even with this chili potatoes i might try but i don't think it will happen okay we actually got the kill and we got another pair of chili potatoes but we're running out of prayer so this is definitely the last one a 13 kill trip which is actually amazing because we actually take damage from the boss so let's go bank and then let's return we are currently at 199 kc oh my god a curved bone okay this is kill 203 and we are getting demolished we don't really have that many supplies left so this might be a small trip and there goes bandos number 250 still no drop and we're nearing the drop rate of the three most common items only 100 and a bit to go so let's hope we don't get to go that dry this has been an amazing trip we've already gotten 17 kills if i can count correctly and we're still going still another brew left and some super restore oh that's the bandos boots 255 kill count so that's our unique but i just started a privately rented room to do the grandmaster combat task so i'll keep continuing as we still have a ton of supplies this is only kill number two 
So we're going to be here for another while. But that's definitely our task completed. This is going to be the end of the trip. We've gotten 11 Bandos KC. And we don't get any more food. So the Grand Master task will be for a bit later if we get another task. And then let's get a look at our log now. General Grardor. 264 KC at the moment with only the Bandos boots. But that's enough to finish our elite task. So let's go to the dashboard and finish it over there and get some new ones. Although Bandos isn't the fastest to kill, we finally got our first unique. So let's complete our elite task. We are 49% elite. Let's see if we can get 50. Not just yet. Let's clear the hard one. Get a new one. Ooh, unique shard one. If I'm not mistaken, that's one from the Chaos Fanatic. Okay, might be a good thing to hunt for. And then let's see the elite task. Oh, okay, yeah. The expert dragon archer headpiece. For our elite task, we are going back to the chompies. Last time we were here, we got the chompy pet. And we got up to the black hat just over here. And we only need two more. The problem is that for the next hat we need to get up to 3000 and then up to 4000 chompy birds killed. And if you look to our composite bow here, we have only killed 2250. So we almost need to double our kill count just to get the last hat. So that's why I'm going to do this in two phases. I'm going to go for the first hat first. So going to 3000 chompy birds first. Then we're probably going to go to the Chaos Fanatic to see if we can get the shard over there. And if that takes too long, we can just get back here to get the last 1000 chompy bird kills. So let's get on it. This is probably going to take a while, but this is quite relaxing. Oh, that's another pet. That's number two. Three? Yep, yeah, that's number two now. Oh, wait. We have another one. Four minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's now three chumpy chicks. Let's see how many more we can get. If we look to our bow, we are currently a dragon archer with 2,999 chumpy birds killed. And if we kill this one... There we go. Let's wait until the health bar disappears because that's required. And now we are 3000 chompy birds killed. And we are an expert ogre dragon archer. Only 1000 more until we get the last hat. But for now let's collect the hat for 3000 birds killed. And then let's see if we can get the odium shard from the chaos fanatic. Let's talk to Rance to claim our hats we can get. We will get all of the hats that we already unlocked. And there we have our newest jumpy hat. The Expert Ogun Dragon Archer. 3000 kills. One more to go. And we have green logged jumpy bird hunting. This took about four hours to do so actually not that bad if we get the last 1000 kills it will take us about five hours so all in all pretty good but let's go to the chaos fanatic now if we look to the bossing table chaos fanatic we have already killed 582 chaos fanatic which is over the drop rate for the odium shard we have two malediction shards and we also have both pets from this boss. So let's see if we can get another one here before we get the Odium Shard. As we have already gotten two pets today with the Chompy Chicks. And that's kill number 666 for some Fire Runes. We're nearing triple the drop rate. Just 100 more. 
So let's just hope we get it soon. No third pet yet, but I'm not really expecting that and I would rather have the new collection log slot instead. Oh, it's the other one. Ah, Malediction Shard 1, number 3. Let's go bank it. It's worth a lot of money, but... That's not what we are looking for. We're currently at 725 Chaos Fanatic kill count. So we are really nearing the 3 times drop rate on the shard. With this kill, this is going to be kill number 768. Which means that we are officially 3 times dry to get the Odium Shard 1 from the Chaos Fanatic. I'm going to finish the trip here and if we don't get it by then, I'm just going to go back to the Chompies and Greenlock the Chompy Bird Hats instead of the Chaos Fanatic. Oh, there's another Chompy Chick. Number 4. We are currently at 3160 Chompies killed, so still a long way to go. Let's see how many chompies we get until we get to 4k. Okay, there's another one. Chompy chick number 5 at 3287 kill count. And there's pet number 6. 3709 kill count, we're almost there. And there's number 7. I think we're getting a pretty lucky on all of these pets here. Let's see if we can get another one before we end in 250 kills. Okay, there's number 8. 3875, so we're definitely lucky on the pets. We're almost there though. Oh my god, there's another one, 3932, that's number 9 now. If we check our bow, we are currently at 3999 chompy birds killed so far. We are an expert ogre dragon archer, and if we kill this one, and two hits, okay. We are, oh we actually get the message. Congratulations 4000 Chompies, you are an expert dragon archer, which is the highest honor we can have. I'll just leave these Chompy Birds to what they are, let's drop all of these bellows because that was using a slot in our bank, which is now an empty slot, which is great. And now the only thing we need to do is to actually get our last collection log slot. Let's talk to Rance for the last time. Can I have a hat please? And now we will get all of the hats again. But the last one is a new one. Collection log slot number 1007, the last chompy hat. And if we then look to our collection log, chompy bird hunting is now green logged 19 out of 19. And we have gotten 9 chompy chicks while going for these hats, but a really nice thing to have green logged. With that out of the way, let's also complete it on our dashboard and then let's see which are going to be the new tasks. We tried to get a unique shard 1 from the Chaos Fanatic, but we are 3 times the drop rate. Still not able to complete that task, but we did get the last two hats for our elite task. So we are 49%, let's complete it. That, ooh, look at that, 50% elite now. Let's clear the hard task, let's go again. Ooh, Nihil Shard Ceremonial Rope Piece, which is quite easy to get. And then elite task. Ooh, Champion Scroll. I've been waiting to get a Champion Scroll task for so long. So we're definitely going to do this one. That's going to be all for this episode. One more slot filled in today and one more section of the lock completed, which is always really nice to see. 
and next episode we will go for our next champion scroll. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and a subscription to the channel if you liked the episode. And for the rest, have a great day and see you next time.